4 here we are going to draw the position of a cube of 40 mm side on HP on one of its faces with the vertical faces inclined at 30 degree to VP it is then tilted such that the axis is inclined at 30 degree to HP with a corner in HP so here the cube is resting on HP with one of its corner so we have to draw the corner position again it is on HP so we have to draw the top view first so let us take uh, the cube in corner position draw the inclination it is given one of its vertical face is inclined at uh, 30 degree to VP so inclination to the VP will be available on HP so put that 30 degree line on HP complete the square so the projection of the cube in simple position is a square draw the simple position remember the included angle should be strictly 90 degree then only you will get the exact square all the base sides are equal even the base side is 40 mm so mark 40 mm this is 40 mm name the cube C A B C D then the bottom points are 1 2 3 and 4 project this take the same 40 and finish the front view for the first step now the cube is in its simple position complete this here if you go to the extreme end then view only 4D is visible so 4D is made dark and this 2D is not visible so it should be made dotted again the axis is inclined 30 degree to HP it is given it is resting on HP with one of its corner first let us complete this uh, namings a dash then B dash is not visible the points correspond to this position C dash is visible similarly B dash is visible 1 dash is visible 2 dash is not visible so we write it at the bottom 3 dash is visible similarly 4 dash is visible place the cube in such a way that one corner should be on HP at the same time axis is inclined 30 degree to HP so the cube is tilted in such a way that the axis is inclined at 30 degree to HP with a corner in HP so axis is at 30 degree so what will happen to the base we just make uh, the axis somewhere here this is central point we just make the axis you will understand the fact that the axis and the base for regular solving are always at right angle 90 degree so instead of trying to put axis at 30 degree you can put base at 60 degree that would be easy so take one 60 degree line take a 60 degree line try to copy this shape on the 60 degree line obviously you will get the axis at 30 degree so the solid is placed now like this try to get this point so only one point is on xy line one corner is on hp 
and uh, find out this distance place it here this is 4 1 dash similarly this distance you can mark 2 1 dash then 1 1 dash same way you can get uh, the other end as well go to the other end so you start with a1 dash a1 dash this is b1 dash this point then you have b1 dash then c1 dash so now one corner is in hp at the same time the axis the axis is at an inclination of 30 degree to the HP. English to HP is available on DP. So draw the axis line. So obviously this base is 60 degree. So the easy way to put axis at 30 degree is put base at 60 degree. Now you can project this shape and you can get the final top view so one line can be drawn vertical similarly you can draw lines for the other three points draw project our lines which be thin try to capture the other four points as well first point then second point then you have the third point finally you have the fourth point now draw the corresponding horizontal lines here you have this line you have another line then one more line to and D. Now it's very simple. Take A horizontal, find out the respective A vertical. So you are getting A1, A1. B horizontal and B vertical will be getting B1. C horizontal and C vertical will be getting C1. C horizontal is there. C vertical is available on the extreme end. Similarly, D horizontal and D vertical, you can get D1. Again, one horizontal, one horizontal and one vertical gets you one suffix one. Then two horizontal and two vertical gives you two suffix one. Three horizontal and three vertical gives you three suffix one. 4 horizontal and 4 vertical gives you 4 suffix 1. So you have 4 suffix 1 available here. The idea is simply draw the lines for the extreme edges. No need to bother about the visible edges. First draw the extreme edges. You will get a kind of hexagonal shape. Now see the visibility, for that you have to identify the extreme corners, assume horizontal lines. So whatever is above this line will be completely visible. So therefore ABCD is completely visible and one A is visible. So try to capture this ABCD, A, B, B, C is H, C, D, then B, A. Completely visible, one A is also visible. So, try to use a pattern for joining the lines. You cannot draw lines on a random fashion. So, take this order. Similarly, start with 1 and you will end with the 1 once again. You can join 1 and A, B and 2, 3 and C, D and 4 and 1 and A. Check these correctivity. 1, 2, 3, 4 is completely invisible. So, 1, 2, 2 is edge, leave it. 2, 2, 3 is invisible, so dotted. 3, 2, 4 is again dotted. 
Now identify one a. One a is visible. Make it dark. Two b. Two b is yet. Leave it. Three c. Three c is at the bottom. Three is also three c. The line three c is below this line. So therefore it is invisible. So make uh, dotted lines. Then 4D, 4D is edge. So this is the complete picture. So it's a very simple case. How do you classify this? This comes under the dot classification, where the axis is parallel to the B and uh, inclined to. HP. Here in this case, axis inclination is given as 30 degree. So it is inclined 30 degree to HP and parallel to VP. So you are getting true length, true axis length on VP and uh, reduced axis length on HP. So when you project to this, when you project the axis, you find the difference. See. The line that is available in the top view will be a reduced length. So this length will be a reduced length, whereas this length is a true length. So therefore, axis is parallel to VP. You are getting true length on VP. It is you are getting reduced length in HP. So therefore, you are getting uh, axis inclined to HP. So if the axis is inclined to HP, you will get only reduced length on HP.